Here's a shot of my new work table. It used to be a uh, service desk at a Target. Um, got it all wired up. Got the computer hooked up into it. Can thank my wife a lot for uh, setting this up, uh, getting it down in here. It was uh, rather heavy. Also have uh, my friend uh, friends Noah and uh, Chad and Andrew since they helped me move this thing down the stairs. Anyways just kind of kind of the new table here's some of the tools I used for this uh, this step of the build got my set of calipers uh, uh, just a whatever caliper a pin got a few wood chisels here uh, I'm sure these all have their own special names but uh, nobody really bothered to tell me what they were when I bought them this one's George. This one's Winston. Call this one Dave. And here's Carl. Also, I've got my muzzle loader mallet here. Wait, hold on. Ah, there we go. Some people might be wondering how I get my chisels to be so dull. Well, it turns out that these wood chisels aren't my first choice of tool for this job. For the sake of safety, the obvious choice would be something like a bowling ball, a golf ball, baseball, billiard ball, maybe a tennis ball, heck, maybe even some BBs. But as it turns out, I don't have a thousand years to carve this gun stock. So I've settled on something that's a metal wood tool. Anyways, sharpening looks something like this. I'm going to start by uh, placing the pieces in approximately the position on this on the blank. I'm going to carve them out of. Taking position so that if I need to, I can get two stocks out of it by effectively taking it. and doing this with it. Basically rotating the board 180 and doing it again. I don't anticipate needing to do this but I like to leave myself the option. And we're done. You get no credit for not showing your work. Wait, what about partial credit? No, 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 no. All right, all right, hold on, hold on.
So the general technique I'm using for this is to use some graphite uh, spray on the barrel and I spray sprayed on something like this. Once I've applied the graphite spray, I take the barrel and I place it onto the spot that I need to carve and I pound it into place with my muzzle loader mallet. This leaves marks onto the wood, which I then can remove with a chisel. And I repeat this as necessary until the wood is shaped the way I need it. This process causes the metal to basically melt into the wood.
good. The time machine works. Ah, uh, looks like it's in the wrong place. So, I'm out of here. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, this is all I've got for you for this section, and until next time, hmm, take it easy.